Back then we were in a small baler and it looked like I was, you'd be towing a house behind your tractor and I thought it was just, you know, ridiculous the first time I saw it. But then uh, the next time I seen it, I guess, was when Don Roberts was run, running one next to my farm during the middle of the day while I was over doing nothing. So yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what got me interested in it, I guess. Yep. Three of us in the valley, us and the Haldermans and uh, the Adams has decided we'd have a little meeting and to get together and we'd invite Don over and kind of quiz him on this machine to see how it really works. So. I mean, the way I figure it is, I was weighing some of my first crop out just barely, and they were averaging 1450 to to 1500 pounds of bell for a three by four, and I have short bells, so I, I figure I picked up at least 100 to 150 pounds of bell. Mm -hmm. And I used to think when I first looked at it, I thought, well, it's all water weight, but it's not. You look at the leaf in those bells, and you understand exactly where it's coming from. We didn't have any dew at first crop. Yeah. And so I'd go out there. I tried. I I tried some different things. Sometimes I tried going out at dark. Sometimes I tried going out at midnight, and I just experimented a little bit, but every every bell that came out of that first crop was just, I mean, the leaf pattern was, it was amazing. When I first went down to your seminar, I was worried because I'm about as technologically challenged as they come, so yeah. I was pretty worried, you know, listening, but Don kept saying, it's easier than you think it is, it's pretty easy, and so, you know, after you told me just to get on and start bailing, I thought, well... I guess it can't hurt anything, so I started bailing, and it's pretty self-explanatory. When you really realize all there is is a screen there, and all you gotta do is read and push buttons, it, I mean, it's easier than you think it'd be. This, this is pretty funny. There was a guy that came to uh, look at my hay, and I was out in this field behind me, and I seen him driving in. He was talking to me on the phone while he was coming in. And he says, yeah, I wanna come and test your hay. And he pulled up, and he looked at it, and he was still talking to me on the phone, and he goes, well, never mind. He goes, I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford this hay. And that's how nice <laughs> that first crop looked. I mean, it made a huge deal. Like I said, I called when I when I first was going to get one. I was I waited till the very last day. Dave said you got to decide by this date, and I waited till I don't know if it was ten minutes before what, but I probed hundreds of bales of Don Roberts. I called brokers. I called dairymen. I says I'm going to find out for sure before I buy one of these things. Yeah. And uh, everybody I talked to is positive. I just feel like this broadens the the you know your time that you can put up pay. You can put a pay for 10 or 12 hours a day instead of two or three hours a day if you're waiting for due. Well, I, like I said, I thought it was going to be way harder than it was because I'm kind of a, I like to stick to what I know. I'm kind of getting nervous around new stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, I had two or three questions and all I had to do was make a phone call and they were taken care of. They, you know, it was 12 o'clock at night or one o'clock one time and I called him. I thought, oh my gosh, he's been working hard. I'm going to wake him up. And he's like, don't ever, ever Never wait to call me again. You yeah. call me. And I thought, how, you know, you just don't find that anymore. So yeah. that impressed me.